Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. You've seen Steve smiling a lot around here. Well, it's because, of course, you know, prior to the beginning of the year, Seattle was told, You getting hockey team, biatches? I was uh, reading, um, and, uh, shout out to John and uh, the crew over at NHL to Seattle. They've been a, a, a grassroots organization that's just been trying to spread awareness and, and, and get people talking about hockey way before we got announced that we were having a team come here for years now. And I was reading on their website what seems to be a timeline. And it looks like maybe in the next, by like September, October, we, we should know like a team name. Ooh. So it's not that far away. Yeah. Color scheme. Very exciting. They got to spread it out now that it's going to be a season later than we thought. Yes. So yeah, spread out the excitement. But I think you kind of want to find that out. That way you can get really, you know, Oh, yeah. I mean, a, 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 a year before, we want to start wearing merch. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm with yeah. you on that. But now we have a reason to wear a hockey jersey until we get the announcement. Oh, and dude, talk about a hockey jersey. Seriously, you know, if, if, if the new Seattle team wants to just copy our jersey, I think they should. Because, man, The Rock has put out our own hockey jersey, and you can get one, too. They're customizable. They got the great black, red, yellow color scheme yep. with the Rock logo on the front. Come on. I mean, it's a sweet-looking jersey. Steve is modeling it because he got a goalie-sized one to play when he's out there. It's fun. I, I, I skate most Thursdays, and it's fun seeing some of the guys that I play with. They're like, oh, that's awesome. Like, where'd you get that jersey? I'm like, rock shop, baby. That's where we got it. <laughs> you can get one, too. Get it personalized. Your own name, your own number. Get the new KISW hockey jerseys at KISW.com. Let's play B. Because it's Wacky Wednesday. Wacky. That's right. Let me see everybody do their Mr. Wacky then. All right. Woo! And everyone in the room waves Wacky. their arms. I know. Why do we do that? Nobody can see us. Because we're stupid. Yeah. And but I love when people text and say they do it in their car. Yeah. yeah. That's Hopefully why we're doing it. That's why we're doing and it. And if you don't know what the hell it is, Mr. Wacky is who? What the hell is Mr. Wacky? It's one of those big inflatable things you see at car dealerships. Oh, yeah. And with the wavy reason. arms. And this was some audio of some guy at a car dealership going, look, I'm doing my Mr. Wacky dance. Well, because he was interviewing Mr. Wacky. How's everybody doing? My name is Mr. Wacky. Yeah, that's that guy. <laughs> Why so does that weird. guy sound like he's happier than, at his job than I am at mine? Why? Well, he's probably stoned. I mean, that's all he has that's to do to be Mr. Wacky. Why can't I get stoned in this job? I don't well, understand. I mean, you can. Stone yeah. BJ would be pretty amazing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Let's get to our contestant today. We've got Will in Maple Valley. Will, are you there, sir? I am. Excellent. What is he playing for today, Steve? Uh, tickets to the PBR Tacoma Invitational that's happening over at the Tacoma Dome on Saturday, March 30th. Go to KISW.com for all the details. You want tickets? Available now at Ticketmaster.com. All right, Steve, get out of here. <laughs> for those playing at home, Will will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Will, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? I'm ready. In the, in the 1997 science fiction comedy Men in Black, which actor played Agent K? Uh, that was... Um, uh, pass, I'm going to come back to oh. Double Stuff Oreos debuted in what decade? Ooh. Uh, the 80s. No. 90s. No. 2000s. No. Whoa. In the first movie, who was the intended target of the Terminator? Uh, that was, uh, John. No. Um, John's mother. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> Which classic cartoon family lived in Orbit City? I'm sorry, repeat the question. Which classic cartoon family lived in Orbit City? The Jetsons. Yes. What movie followed Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? The Goblet of Fire? No. Uh... 
Pass. Sodium and chlorine are combined to make which ordinary cooking mineral? Uh, I'm sorry, repeat the question. Sodium and chlorine are combined to make which ordinary cooking mineral? Baking soda. No! <laughs> Too correct. Mm. Dropping the juice. Horrible. Yeah. Horrible. I mean, there have been worse, Will. Yeah. But yes, dropping that deuce didn't get you very far here. No. And he never even got back to that first question. He, he said he would to. get back to it. Couldn't get back to it. So now we have to see if Will will get whacked or if Will will be the whacker. Whack it. Steve? Yes. Are you ready? Oh, yes. In the 1997 science fiction comedy Men in Black, which actor played Agent K? Tommy Lee Jones. Yes. That's it. Double Stuff Oreos debuted in what decade? 70s. Yes. Oh. In the first movie, who was the intended target of the Terminator? Oh, uh, your clothes. Give them to me. <laughs> Sarah Connor. Yes. I'm just saying. Which classic cartoon family lived in Orbit City? Jetson. Take me down. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which movie wow. followed Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? I know. Uh, Harry Potter and the Harry Palms. No. Uh, Harry Potter's fun time on a stick. No. That's it. Harry Potter and the Dragon of Sorcerers. No. <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> Sodium and chlorine are combined to make which ordinary cooking mineral? Salt? Yes. What continent includes Iran? Uh, Africa. No. <laughs> Antarctica. No. <laughs> Australia. No. Austria. N- Austria? No. Yes, it's a great ah. continent, that Austria. Which well-known Spanish word means a short afternoon nap? Siesta. Yes. Nice. What is the main alcohol in a black Russian? Vodka. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Correct. You win. Seven to deuce. Yeah. 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 He left. Yeah. I mean, Will knew. He hung up. Will knew what was up. Will got whacked. Oh, no uh, Steve is actually on a roll. That's right. Yeah. Everybody yeah. sucks. The callers suck more. <laughs> I know. The earlier one, you only got four correct, but didn't matter. Yeah. When the opponent gets a deuce. Yeah. Both times, man. Oof. I know. Uh, which continent includes Iran? Vicky, you know this. I mean, you said almost all of them. Yeah. Asia? Asia. Ah. That makes sense. <laughs> Good job, Vicky. You know the other continent. <laughs> uh, and the movie that followed Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Yeah, Dan, Danny was so pissed that he didn't know the answer to this. He Harry was. Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah. But wasn't that what it's called? No. No, he said what movie what followed, followed it. Followed it. What oh, movie followed it? Chamber of Secrets. Sorry. There you go. There I go. read that completely wrong. Well, so no wonder you had mad. such a bad look on your face. Oh, you thought that yeah. the, the answer was in the question? Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, no, oh. no, no. I was, so like, I was like, you know, I'm a moron. <laughs> when you said followed, I thought you meant like which one it tells the story of it, not fought like come came out. Oh, following oh. the book, like yeah. Chronicles oh, okay. or something. Yeah, okay. you know what, Danny? Forget about it. Do you know what the original name was? Uh, Philosophers. Yeah, Danny knows what's up. You guys know too much. Really? Yeah, they call you know they they they, they call it a philosopher's stone, but they thought us Americans would have no idea what the hell that meant. So they oh. was like, okay, we'll call it a sorcerer's stone for Americans. I know those are a thing in uh, Dungeons and Dragons, but I don't know what they do. Yeah. Well, they do what the sorcerer's stone does. Yeah, what is that? Texter says <laughs> Harry Potter and the philosopher's stone in Britain. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, that's fancy. what. If you can find one of the first editions, it's all first. Yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait for the first movie. <laughs> Lots of money. Yeah. That's a philosopher's stone. Yeah, the Chamber of Secrets, which has nothing to do with Vicky. So let's not even bring that up. Oh. Yeah. Hey, I've been on the ride. Excuse me? Vicky's ride? <laughs> whoa. whoa. The, the, the Harry Potter ride oh, in Florida. So good. Well, I was like, whoa. Oh, but I've been so on it since it's been updated, yeah. PJ. Oh, wow. You got to make a trip back. So jealous of you. It's a whole new world. It's a whole new ride. Oh, geez. That's Aladdin, dude. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> and I have an in. I mean, so, a, granted, you don't like my buddy because he's kind of boring. No, I, I like do. your buddy. He just talks too much and doesn't want to go on rides. Yeah, because I know. It's he, a waste he, of my time. I'm not going to an amusement park to hear about the history and about his life. I'm going to an amusement park to go on some freaking rides. Yeah, he's a boring guy. Well, he next time. He slow and he talks forever. Yeah. Oh, next Otherwise, he's an awesome dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, yeah, he's a perfect man. Well, I hate rides and I'll listen to him. So while you guys go on the rides, I'll just uh, I'll play the buffer at that point. Yeah. But in retrospect, after I looked at my bank account after that trip, I should have hung out with the long talking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the only way to do it. Yeah, dude. That day, Pricey? Yeah. He saved us a lot of money, he did. Yeah. Yeah, he did. It's insane how much these damn parks are costing. Yeah, they're these expensive things. as all hell. Oh. Yeah, you, uh, you, 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 hundreds and hundreds of dollars, man. Yeah, that's <sighs> insane. I'll pass. But I'd like to go do it. I would, but I'd have to have a buddy to go with me because I don't think Kathy's really into it anymore. No. And but and, but I want to go with my buddy, and maybe he will be my buddy. I'll just I'll hang with him and go do it. <laughs> my buddy, my, my buddy. I want Harry. I want a Harry Potter buddy. <laughs> it's uh, awesome though. They they've really done next level stuff with uh, the Harry Potter ride. You know we're going to do that with Disney is not going to be outshined with the Star Wars thing dude, opening. 
going on. Oh, yeah. I don't even want to know what it's going to be like and how much money they're going to charge. They're probably going to go over 200 bucks a ticket I know, when, I when Star know. Wars and, makes its way in. I know nobody at Disney. I'm so like, ah. Yeah. Dude, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's, and the my thing that cracked me up most about that, the way they price things out for Disney, it's like $160 for a ticket, but for kids... We'll knock the price down to one hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, thanks, guys! Oh, hey, wow, ten bucks off. Nice. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Stupid. deal's a deal. Yeah, and, they, and I, I think I mentioned it to you. The hotel that they're doing for that, that Star Wars themed hotel, <sighs> is already booked out for three years. Yeah. Really? Oh, it hasn't yeah. even. They haven't even built it. Ah, oh, I know, dude. It's it's it Disney hand over fist. They're yeah. printing money when Star yeah. Wars gets there. Yes, they are. Uh, by the way, Steve, congratulations! You won with seven correct. Thank you. <laughs> Which is why a lot of the Star Wars fans, as upset as you are. You know why Disney said oh, we're going to get this franchise? Yeah, because they're going to make bank. Well, I think they were saying what, like the rooms are about five hundred bucks a night. That's what they are. Which, yeah, I hope that like the concierge is going to be like C three PO and and oh, like dude, the, the gonna, front yeah. desk person, maybe like Jabba the Hutt. You know, this like, should be insane. Yeah, yeah. Let you me know they're so. going to have the bars and everything. The oh, cantina yeah. lounge. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Bum, 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 bum. I think the cantina lines are actually putting in Disneyland, but I can't imagine just the ones in the hotel are going to be even more insane because like people are staying there and paying that much. Yeah. It would be pretty awesome to stay there and be just like some you know just right into the world of Disney uh, uh, Star Wars. Yeah, just yeah. looking at the concept art, that's what it looks like. The yeah. room, that's the all, room. That's what it looks like in the concept oh, art. Oh, it looks so fantastic. Sweet Jesus, I wanted to stay there. Uh, let me give out. Uh, by the way, caller seven, you're going to get the uh, PBR to come in and take us. Caller seven two zero six four two one rock. Well, is that I, the lobby? I think it might be or a bar. Oh, that looks so amazing. Dude, well, I mean, years you could stay there. I mean, when, <laughs> I, I remember, I remember right. Quark's I'm Bar. saving now. Yeah. At the Star Trek experience in Vegas, at the Vegas Hilton, Quark's Bar was so awesome then. We were so happy about that. And that was like, what, 15 years ago? Was, oh, they're going to make this insane. And I can't wait to see like the low rent, low budget Airbnb attempts of these kind of years. <laughs> oh, like, that's you know, we went through that with uh, the Disney themed yeah. Airbnb. And it was, I'm not that it's sanctioned by Disney, but somebody trying to make their rooms look that way. Yeah. It's going to be pretty funny. Like, this will just be like a really old, cheesy lightsaber yeah. in somebody's room. It's a Star Wars themed Airbnb. You're gonna have one of those little white uh, trash bins that's just gonna be colored. It's C three or not R two D two. R two D two. Yeah, it's an e- yeah, like a little like like just this ghetto Ewok blanket. Yeah. I was gonna say it's like that hair in the shower. That's definitely an Ewok. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But that would be fun to go to that. Money. That that hotel does look pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, but you got five hundred. No, I'm okay. not gonna drop that kind of money. Yeah, but I'll walk in there and just like maybe go to the bar. That is cool. I mean, that's the one thing you can do. I mean, all the fancy hotels when we go to Hawaii, that's they tell you stay at a cheap place, then just go to the bars and all the fancy hotels, and you get the experience without paying for it. Right. Yeah. I mean, it would be cool, though. Those rooms look pretty fantastic. They do. Mm. Got to tell you about this Delaware mom. Her name is Angela. She says she's got a 13-year-old son who wouldn't listen to her, wouldn't go to bed last Tuesday night, opted instead to settle in for some Netflix, and his stubbornness may have saved their lives. Her son was still binge watching The Flash around 1.30 a.m. when he heard when he suddenly smelled smoke. The son said, quote, then I saw the fire. When I saw that, I started yelling for my mom. If Netflix wasn't there, I probably would have just gone to sleep. And he saved their lives being up because they wouldn't have known about it until it was too late. Damn. It was an electrical outlet fire, so he, if he didn't smell the smoke by being up, I guess they don't have fire alarms. I mean, you dude, know. I was reading about this this morning. And, um, apparently, this isn't the first time that the family has lost their home to a fire. What? Uh, yeah. Okay. They better have four fire years alarms. ago. I mean, at that point, I'd have a fire alarm everywhere on the wall. How do you? I mean, how does that happen? As soon as I lose my first home, there's no way that I got to wait for my son to be binge watching a show before I know I got a fire. I don't know if they're allowed to have a house with electricity from yeah, here I on think out. You're right, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'd just be in an apartment. Right there. Yeah, no more houses for us. You can only live in a tree house, dude. <laughs> seriously, two fires for these poor people? Right. Gosh, man, that sucks. And the dad wasn't home when when it all went down. Oh man, how does that happen? Yeah, dude, you is know it how bad luck is? or is it just user error? That's a really good question. Sometimes luck is luck. You know, you hear about people hitting the lottery a couple times. You go, how does that happen? I've never hit the lottery. How do you hit it twice? Yeah. And then these guys, you know, guys getting hit by lightning more than once. Hey, I had to go back to the Star Wars world. Star Wars. Uh, the whole staff at the hotel when it eventually gets built is going to be in character as Star Wars characters. And there'll be lightsaber fights in the halls. Oh, yeah. nice. Really? Nice. Now, that could be trouble by, if it's by the bar. Yeah, yeah it would be. <laughs> Let's get in on this. Wow. I hope all, like, the bellhops are Ewoks. 
Oh, jeez, that'd be awesome. That'd be so amazing. Oh, man. It's, see, that's where they're going to get you for the 500. You'll go like, I'll save up. I want to be part of this. Now, do you think they'll have something like, obviously, it's going to cost an arm and a leg, but where you could pay a little bit more and they'll have a full outfit ready for you so that you could get into character? Uh, I don't know. I don't think in Disneyland you're allowed to dress up. No, yeah, but I mean at the hotel. Uh, you are allowed you to can't, You can. You just can't cover your face. Okay. So oh. you can dress up as anything, but you so can't So you could be like a stormtrooper on a lunch break. Yeah. Nice. Okay, you can be Finn. Yeah, yeah. You, take, you take your helmet off and have the blood on it that you'll be bloody Finn Stormtrooper. Well, that's a little weird. It's a kid's park, BJ. Well, hey, listen, you know what? You, know, you got to do what you got to do to cosplay. So yeah. what, do you, what would you dress up as? Oh, Slave Leia. That's weird. <laughs> I'd be dead sexy, buddy. Who, come on. That's so weird. That's what you all want to see. I definitely. See, I would want to be an Ewok, but it'd be too hot. You I, could be be a, I could be a shaved Ewok. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> and Austin, like, like a Dr. Evil Ewok? Is that what you're going to be? Uh, or a hairless Wookiee. A hairless uh, Wookiee. Yeah, that's... What are you? <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. I'm a hairless Wookiee. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> and you think me in a slave lay outfit's going to look weird. Oh, nobody's going to let us in the park. No, they're not. Yeah. They put, actually put something over your face, guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you guys gonna, you can cover your face. Would you go good or bad? Like Luke? Or would you go like... Ooh, um, well, there. You know what, man? I, Darth Maul is an awesome looking character, but yeah. it, it takes too much to dress up as him. I mean, and, and, not really. It's just some red and black face paint and a robe, and you're good. Or a mask. You got to don't forget the horns. He's got the horns. I have a mask. You push the horn, and it says words like "I am the Dark Lord" or whatever he says. <laughs> I have yeah, the mask. You push the little horn. You, I know you have his mask, and you haven't watched a single movie. My cousin got him for me for yeah. my birthday that one year. Your wife beat your ass with a lightsaber. Yeah, I know. I Wait, you haven't see seen any of the Star Wars? I've seen like the first three. Oh, okay, kind of. And then the new ones, <laughs> the, fir- the the two new ones. Have yeah. you seen Solo? No, I haven't yet. Oh, that's a good one. You know we're on the radio, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, where, where, where do you think I am? <laughs> I, don't, I was wondering where you thought you were. I'm here. It's a good one, Vicky. I really like it when the TV comes on. And he says, a long time ago, in galaxy far, far away. That's awesome. I'm just saying that Solo is a good film. Sorry. I don't know how else to say it other than it's a good one. Yeah. And by the way, since we're talking about it real quick, only because it's pretty epic, uh, we talked about it on BJ Shea's Geek Nation, but somebody did a movie about Darth Vader, but it's a YouTube fan-made movie that looks like it's, the production quality is unbelievable. We can't believe they're doing this for not, not for profit. Huh. But they're showing us basically like Darth Vader right after he becomes Darth Vader. Because we saw uh, the first three movies, uh, one, two, and three, showed us him becoming Darth Vader, but then we don't get to see Darth Vader again pretty much until Rogue One Episode Four. That's it. So this is like him just kind of like learning his trade exactly it's him learning his trade and you think okay it'll be stupid it's on youtube and it was really good uh it's called vader's shards of uh, of something right? of the past yes yeah, shards of the past yeah it's it's only 15 minutes and they're going to do multiple episodes but it, the quality is amazing again it's fan made so that way they can do it and not get in trouble i mean it's pretty close to um, vicky showing me some of the footage and it's on par with the se- be- better quality than obviously the seventies films. But, yeah, I mean it's not bad. It's yeah. obviously not as good as what you see t- these days with Hollywood budgets, but it's pretty good. Unless you watch Aquaman and the st- yeah, and the story is yeah, story's pretty good. <laughs> is it better than Bird Box? I haven't seen Bird Box, so I'm but, just uh, asking. It's, it's yes. better than the previews I've, watched I've more seen of for this Bird, than Bird Box. Bird Box. Oh, yeah. oh. Danny, have you ever seen any of the Star Wars movies? Yes, all of them. Really? Except for, I haven't seen any of the the new new ones. Have you seen really? Solo? Uh, no. Oh, cool. I would have lost money on that. I love how you say the new, new ones, which were almost basically, they're almost 20 years old now. No, no, I've seen no, those ones. I saw the first, I saw all the first, the, the first. In other words, you saw the Jar Jar World. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jar Jar is almost 20 years old, guys. Yeah, I saw no, those ones. We're talking about the new, new ones that just came out the last couple of years. That's the one we're talking about. But here's about. what I'm saying. It's, the, the, you can just say the new ones because the other ones you're talking about are almost 20 years old. And of course, the originals are 40 years old. So it's funny to say the new, new when the, when the one you're saying is new but is 20 years ago. So that's what I want to know. Yeah, it's a good movie, Steve. <laughs> really good. <laughs> it sounds like you need to have a moment with yourself behind the desk with that classroom teacher. So low. Yeah. So it was a good film. I agree with you. Yeah. I've, I've been on the I've been on the solo bandwagon for a long time. Mm. All right, it is time for listeners on the loose. Someone's got someone's got to figure this show out. Somebody's got to fix it because Steve wants to go watch solo anyway. You pick the topic. You guide the show. Two zero six four two one rock. Text us at seven seven nine nine nine. Whatever you want to talk about. You pick the topic. You guide the show. Your calls. Your texts at nine seventeen on the rock. BJ and Migs mornings on the rock. 99.9 KISW. 
99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's Listeners on the Loose, brought to you by Car Toys. Listeners on the Loose, this is where you're picking, you're guiding. That's what you're doing, man. You're running this show. So whatever you want to talk about, something new, something old, you get to do it. Now, what you don't get to do, though, is be boring. Steve's got that rule. That's right, BJ. If you are, we're going to have to gong you. And then say goodbye. Goodbye, old friend. Don't bore us. Get to the course. Yeah, we don't need that, buddy. Figure it out. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Somebody want to know, BJ, have you seen the fan film of Vader versus Batman? It's pretty awesome. No, I haven't seen that. So this is what these people are doing. These people. <laughs> these nerds. Hey, space Paul. These nerds. What are they doing now, BJ? Making all these fake films. I, I I don't think I've seen it. You know what? Gosh, it sounds familiar, but I don't know. Maybe I have. I can't remember. Vader versus Batman. I guess it's uh, what, what it sounds like. Darth Vader going up against Batman. I know there's a lot of series online where uh, they pick two characters from two different worlds and who would win, Wolverine or this guy and this and this. And then they have actors act it out and fight the scenes and they look really awesome. So this one looks like, what, is it 10 minutes long? Yeah, but there's like a lot of in between. Like, who? Oh. Here's people's uh, let me ideas. Quality? Oh, 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 okay. So they, uh, is it really actors or are they just getting stuff from old old movies? No, they're actors. Oh, wow. Because I've right. seen there's a bodybuilder who did the Wolverine one that I follow. Who's uh, hot? All right, fine. Yeah, I, you know, I, 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 um, I don't know if I'm that into those. It's I, impressive, though. That, I mean, the technology is at that point now where you could pull this off and probably not go broke by doing it. Oh, oh there's Batman with a lightsaber. Batman's got a lightsaber? Okay, I guess I haven't seen this. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> they have one that's Darth Vader so versus awesome. Gandalf. And then they have little hobbits running around, too. <laughs> well, you know, I find this fascinating. I just, I mean, Batman's definitely, you know, he's skilled, but how can he use the Force, though? You know what I mean? He could use a lightsaber. Yeah, but you got to be good at it. Maybe they made a gentleman's agreement to not use the Force before they fought. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? I, to make it sporting. <laughs> yes, to okay. make it fair. Yeah. No, he definitely does use the Force. You know what it is? I think a lot of folks are using this as their demo reels. It's oh, a, for sure. No doubt about it. Or a project for some kind of a film school. Yeah. Because it all started, for me anyway, uh, this guy James Cawley in California just decided to rebuild the entire original set of Star Trek, which the uh, you know the older I get, the realize I realize just how cheesy that old set was of the original series. But when I was a kid growing up, I was like, I wish I had that. The bridge of the Enterprise looks amazing. And then mm-hmm. the fact that some dude could just recreate the whole thing, like in a couple of rooms in his garage and basement and make it look as good as the original set. And then he started doing these show, the, these fan-made, like, continuing episodes of the old Star Trek show. And they did... Gosh, I think like 25 to 30 brand new episodes all in the, you know, him and then some other guy picked up the mantle. All right. So if you had it, obviously that this is something that is not ever going to happen in theater. Someone was like, I want to see what Batman and, and Vader would be like together. Yes. If you could decide, they don't have to go against each other. They could work together or go against each other. You're picking two fictional characters from some worlds, Marvel Universe, DC, films, action movies. What two people would you put together? Oh, I feel like I would like to see Malcolm Reynolds. Reynolds and Captain Kirk, you know, Who uh, Malcolm, Malcolm Reynolds? Reynolds is from Firefly and he's oh uh, Nathan Fillion's character. He's beloved in the sci-fi world. Oh, it's got to be yeah! something you know. All right, who's no, no, do you know? whatever you want. Man. You asked yeah. Steve. I did. I mean, yeah. <laughs> am I supposed to You're pick right, somebody Danny. you know? Oh, I would have had it like if you said like, you know, uh, I don't know, Garfield and, and Marley or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's those, that's my world. I love both those characters. Yes, yeah, animals. Yeah, Marmaduke versus Heathcliff. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. That would be awesome. Yeah. What about Pootie Tang and the Terminator? <laughs> Pootie Tang, <laughs> what a tab. I don't know what you're talking about. And they work together like a, t- a crime fighting team. Yeah, okay. What about you, Rev? <laughs> Pootie Tang. <laughs> Pootie Tang. I know, he's good. Uh, first one would have to be Thanos and Thanos and Batman teaming up together. Really? One's got a gauntlet, one's got a utility belt, and pretty much they almost have a full wardrobe together. Hilarity ensues. Yeah. How about you? What a top. I mean, uh, how about you, Vicky? What, 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 what would you go for? Only because I think it'd be really, really awesome. Xena the Warrior Princess versus Wonder Woman. Oh, Neat. okay. All right. I'll I take that. By versus, is like... They're fighting each other. Oh, I thought this Who was would like win? A 18 and up type of movie. <laughs> well, that's the, 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 the subscription that you have to pay for. So there's not a lot of fighting is what you're saying, Steve. It's just a, yeah. Oh, this person says Punisher and Rambo team up. Ooh. Ooh. And definitely the Punish Shainer. <laughs> okay, nerds. who is the? I know you're gonna hate. Well, you haven't watched much of the, uh, the uh, of Netflix's Punisher, but he's no. the best one. I, no, he's not better than Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, he is. 
Mm-hmm. He's the best. He's player. way better than Dolph Lundgren, man. Yeah, yeah. And Thomas Chain is better than Dolph Lundgren. Mm-hmm. No, that that one's debatable. Dolph Lundgren was good in Aquaman. I will give him that. He was in Aquaman. Yeah, he's a king. Oh, that Dolph Lundgren's appearing everywhere. How about Seriously? Hulk and Yoda, somebody said. Hulk and Yoda, oh, that's the one. God, yes. One big green, one little green. Yeah. Okay, Danny, who would you like? Is it probably some, it's probably some Disney princess. No, I was going to say SpongeBob and Mr. Hanky. <laughs> Mr. Hanky. Okay. Yeah, yes. I think that'd be a great I collaboration. Mean, SpongeBob's around to clean up the crap. Yeah. That's what it is. Terminator and RoboCop. Oh, yeah. Good that's call. Old, that's old school. Actually, yeah. when it, when are they going to reboot RoboCop? They did. They didn't. It was terrible. <laughs> Never mind. It was really terrible. You know what, Steve? It's really great how t- keyed into pop culture you are. You're amazing. Oh. Hopefully, they'll do that Mary Poppins again, because I think that would be a great idea. What was the point of that? <laughs> she came back. Because people love Mary Poppins, and they want to do that a new much? movie. People loved it yes. that much? Yeah. Mary Poppins is beloved, maybe not to you and I, but to a lot of folks, and it did well. It got oh, 78% of Rotten Tomatoes, certified fresh. Well, yeah. Hopefully, they'll bring back Chitty Chitty Bang Bang while they're at it, too. Oh, I would love that. Chitty Chitty I love Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. 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 Okay, I, not as a triple X movie. No, I'm just saying it's a, they're, they're an extra bang. Dude, if you could see the look on your face, you said chitty chitty bang bang bang, and then you had your vinegar strokes face. Somebody has a great point for Pootie Tang and the Terminator. They could call it the Pootie Nader. Oh my God, okay, yes. That's the one. <laughs> I'm a fun son. Got my dillies on a pepper tank. That's what it is. See, I really like the the characters that are really good at talking them way, themselves out of things or into things, like Sheldon. Or I think if you mix Sheldon, Sherlock, and then House and just have them fight verbally, I think that would blow like minds in the sense of my brain hurts. The only person that could direct that is Quentin Tarantino. Mm. Okay. Well, he's all about dialogue. You know, yeah, I mean, that's yeah. all dialogue. Yeah, he's the dialogue guy. Well, I mean, Kevin Smith. Too. Kevin Smith as well. Oh yeah. gosh! Yeah. All right, look, I like Kevin Smith. I just think that as far get them as, like, together when, and make it be like a ten-hour movie. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you're right. Kevin Smith's dialogue is good too. So yeah, you know what? If they both did something together, I think you're absolutely right. That would work. What about Pee Wee Herman and Mr. Bean? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that, that what he was really doing well. in the movie theater? He was, wasn't he watching oh, Mr. Bean? Okay. Hey, 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 that's a le- no. I guess it wasn't a legend. Yeah. No, it wasn't a legend, yeah. dude. He was definitely he was definitely bringing the chicken to choke down. He was. <laughs> What about Captain America and the Human Torch? Oh, that would be great because it's the same guy. That's what I'm saying. Same actor, Chris Evans. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Or just all of Andy Serkis's characters that he's played. So just like uh, Gollum. Uh, Gollum and every other single one that he's done. There's been a lot. <laughs> we got That's to actually see Ryan Reynolds sort of be with other characters that he's done at the end of Deadpool 2. Yep. Oh, Deadpool and Pikachu now. Because he's going to be uh, Pikachu and Detective Pikachu. He, oh, the what? voice of Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. It is the best thing ever. Oh, now hold on. Ever? Well, it's because I kind of called it. I dressed up as Deadpool one year at Comic Con with a Pikachu onesie. So, in a way, I feel like I called it. Yeah, you did do that. Yeah. You really, yeah. You know what? I mean, I, I, now that I think about that, that was the weirdest foreshadowing ever because he is the voice now. Woohoo. All right, Vicky. I win. Vicky's kind of a witch over there. She knows things. <laughs> All right, you picked the topic. You guide the show. It's pretty simple. 206 421 Rock. Text us at 77999. More listeners on the loose with your calls and texts at 933 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show. 204. 204. How about 206 421 Rock? What area code is 204? I don't know. I want to go there, apparently. I wonder where that is. You can also text us at 77999. Where is the 204? The Canadian province of Manitoba. Hey! Let's go get some Timbits. BJ's Canadian now. Yeah, All right. yeah. So where's 205? Because, I mean, you know, you got Manitoba, then you get two, and then they decided to give us the 206. Birmingham, Alabama. Alabama. I, that's a weird thing with area codes. You think they would be closer to each other with the numbers like that? Yeah, I don't understand the rhyme or reason. Yeah, don't get that at all. All right, well, there's big news there. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news. Yeah, 204 is in Manitoba. Woo! 206 421 Rock, text us at 77999. Uh, going back to our topic earlier this morning about the weird things that you've seen just in public or wherever it may oh, be. Oh, that's that guy that was licking the door knob, the, the, the doorbell for three hours? Yep. That's where it started the whole thing. So he says, I worked on the ferries and we had an intoxicated man go into the galley and start sucking ketchup out of the condiment dispenser. Oh, no. State patrol was called and he left the boat in an ambulance. And you basically had to just, you had to trash that dispenser. You had to burn it, right? I would imagine There's so. There's no way I'm going to use that again. How about this one? I watched a guy walk down uh, C Street in Auburn for about a half a mile. Every three or four steps, he punched himself in the face. Hard. Ooh, Fight Club. 
<laughs> it was Tyler Durden. That's, yeah, that's exactly what was going on. Then the person saw a tweaker humping a traffic light post in uh, Bellingham. Woo! That's just what you do in Bellingham. <laughs> I was thinking of Fight Club. I think this is the 20th anniversary, if I'm not no. mistaken. I think so. I know I, today's the 35th anniversary of the Where's the Beef commercials. Is it really? 35 years ago. Do you guys know? No, Vicky and Danny don't know oh, that I, one. I only know because of references. Yeah. I've seen the commercial like on YouTube. Anybody know how old Fight Club is? I it, think it, it is. It's 20 this year. Yep, in September. See, 1999 was considered one of the best years for movies ever outside of 1939. Is that so the, because the AA Matrix was a part of it? Yeah. I figured as much. <laughs> yeah. But dude, 20 years old. Fight Club is 20 years old. I feel really old. I mean, that movie was like the standard dude movie. Everybody had to go see Fight Club. American Pie also came out in 99. Yeah. Well, and you know oh, what? Classic I mean, film. It right. is. I mean, yeah. that was that was another movie that contributed to how successful that year was. There were so many great movies that came out. Eyes Wide Shut. The yeah. Sixth Sense. The yeah. Mummy. Oh, that movie was fantastic. The Mummy? Yeah. The Sixth Sense came out. Yeah, that's what a year that was for great movies. The Mummy was what opened the door for The Rock. Yeah. As far as just becoming a big star. That's well, the for, second one. Oh, the mummy yeah, too. He, yeah, yep. he was the Scorpion King, wasn't he? Yep. Yeah. That's right. Okay. With yeah. that really bad CGI. But it still opened the door for The Rock. We don't yeah. have the mummy too, if not for the mummy one. That's right. right. It yeah. was just a slow build. <laughs> Brendan Fraser. <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, Tom Cruise could not create the same magic. Nope. Brendan Fraser was awesome back yep. then. What was is he it, was doing? Encino Man? Encino Man yeah. was the yep. best movie ever. Yeah. I'm okay, with you. That's take, a great film. All right, take it easy, the 12 of you. Okay. It's better than Bird Box, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, I wouldn't argue that, but I'm just saying, come on. Oh, wait, Danny, what's better, Encino Man or Bird Box? Oh, Encino Man all the way. Okay. It has Pauly Shore in it, man. Mm hmm. Uh, actually, oh, uh, sure. Brandon Fraser is going to be starring in a new, I believe it's DC, um, like series. It's called Doom Patrol. Oh, really? Yeah. So Good I'm like, for Brendan. like, hell yeah, I want to see that guy succeed. He's awesome. Yeah, what happened to him? I think he got like he injured Steve, he, and he, he lost a lot of money to his wife. Didn't like, he and Steve Gutenberg have a duel and they both lost? But to see who would be less relevant in yeah, 2018? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dude, the internet loves they Brendan Fraser. <laughs> I love Brendan Fraser. He was badass. George of the Jungle? Yeah. Yes, that was my yeah. first Brendan Fraser movie. I, this is the problem. I think we're naming the movies and the reason why maybe Brendan Fraser started the film. Why? These were successful George, films. George, they were okay. George, George, Blast, yeah. Blast from the Past with uh, Christopher Walken. Yeah, again. I don't, I don't know if I remember that one. Yeah, we are. That's with uh, we're, the we're, chick from Clueless. You yeah. Are, you, yes, yeah, you are really documenting the descent of Brendan Fraser. No, it was the best movie ever. Okay, Danny. <laughs> Which one are we saying is the best movie ever now? All of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Fair the enough. problem. Yeah, Steve and Danny, it's like you guys are movie buddies. You really, I'm, surprised, I'm surprised you don't go to movies together. You have the same taste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. All right, let's talk to Alex in Seattle. Alex, you are on the rock. <laughs> I mean, we should. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, Alex, welcome to the show. What you got for us, buddy? Big fan of the show. Um, they, uh, they, it needs to be addressed that uh, the Bears kicker who uh, double doinked, they made fun of it on the men's room last night, too. I'm from Chicago. I'm calling from Seattle. It's been proven that a Philadelphia Eagle, I think his last name's Hester, kicked yes. it with his finger. Yeah. It broke his finger. We have talked no about it, Alex. It, it, it is so bad what's happening to that kid. Nobody's forgetting. They're crucifying him. My Facebook feed is just blown up with all kinds of stuff. I was mad too, but come on. Yeah, well, you. Yeah, I mean, it's the Bartman effect, you know, man. I mean, there are just some fans. The stuff that happened to Bartman was just horrific, and uh, it just seems like sometimes some of those Chicago fans, dude. You know, you live there. I'm from Boston. There are some a hole Boston fans too that really shame us all. And I got to be thinking, you know that about some Chicago fans. But this was a player. He's part of your team, and it was a part of the game that yeah. happened. It wasn't a fan interference thing. It does suck that after the fact it was <laughs> something... Alex is not forgiving Bartman, you can tell. No, that Bartman's an a-hole. But it is lame. Yeah, Bartman that... is an a-hole. <laughs> Any other time a kicker gets tipped or somebody blocks it, no one's mad at the kicker or the punter if anything gets po blocked. But now, you know I mean? But everyone was mad right from the get-go with him yeah. that no one's ever able to go back and be like, oh, man, our bad. We shouldn't have hated him as he much as we did. He has a history. Yeah. He has a history of hitting the crossbar. That's how he practices, but... I read it, that. It was just... The double doink thing was big for yeah. a couple of days. I just wanted to clear the air that he's it's not a fault. Hey Alex, did you, did you did you hear about that beer company, uh, Goose Island Beer, that they said they'll promise a, a year of free beer to anybody who can make that exact same kick that was missed by the kicker or by Oh my by god, I could make that kick. You could Seriously? double doink it. 
Oh, I couldn't. Do- I get it now. I thought yeah. you meant the 42 yarder. I could make a 42 yarder. Uh, I'm glad you could because Alex, I couldn't. It is interesting because you know I. The, the cool thing about Seattle is that I feel like that when you, whenever any of the sports commentators start talking, especially like the Aaron Levines of the world, they immediately point out that wait a second, it just wasn't it wasn't just that one play. Which in some other towns I've lived in, no, they'll focus on the one play, not counting on the fact that hey, this much vaulted Bears defense allowed a Nick Foles and allowed Nick Foles to go down there and, and, and mm-hmm. basically score the winning touchdown. Yeah, you know, and uh, well, so different than like people freaking out about the whole missed onside kick. It's like that's where you're angry. There's yeah, so many other things on. that you should be angry about that led to the point where the Seahawks didn't win the game. And and Seattle Not the media, onside kick. And the Seattle media does a good job like that. When we had Mitch on, you know, Mitch Levy was talking about the fact that yeah, you know, he doesn't get upset at the officiating because there was a lot else that went wrong in mm-hmm. that game. And he's right. And it's the same thing with that Bears game. I watched that Bears Eagles game, and I thought for sure it was going to be a shutout. They kept talking about this much vaunted Chicago defense. I didn't think Philadelphia was going to score a point the way the announcers were just building up how good the, the Bears defense was. And you know what they. They let him score. Well, it's like even like when I think back to the Super Bowl, that was a total punch in the gut for all of us fans when, when you know, that, uh, the interception happened. And yeah. everyone's mad about that one play. And I understand that one play was such a, a crappy moment. It'll forever live on in infamy for us Seahawks fans. But let's not forget that they blew a big lead yeah. in the second half. I mean, that that was, there's a lot, everyone's all mad about the offense. And everyone's giving the defense a pass. And yeah, there were a lot of injuries. But like, they blew a big lead. Yeah. That's something that they've never done. And, and you, you forget that because you just want to focus on that one play. And it took it really took a circus catch to get us down there. We forgot 100%. that too. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, so it, it, you're absolutely right. It, it, it took a miracle to get us in position to maybe win that game. We have an update about Brendan Fraser. Uh, uh, he said he got injured, couldn't do his normal acting movies, those action films, and nobody would cast him for anything else. He was in a TV show for the last couple of years, but he's finally able to work again. So, and let's oh. not forget, we almost forgot the greatest Brendan Fraser movie. What was that? Airheads. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah, I did see that. You Maybe actually I watched that. That was pretty good. He was great. Yeah, it, it was a good flick. What were they called again? The Lone Rangers. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking Wild Stallions, but that was Bill and Ted. Oh, Bill and Ted. Oh, Damn yeah. it. Yeah, we need yeah. to like have. They need to make these bands a reality. It's true. All the the the, the movie bands that we the, that would be pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah, do like a tour, like a festival tour. The Lone Rangers <laughs> and the Wild Stallions. Together. Okay. All right. That's they're probably a little old now, but still, I'd good. pay. I'd pay a ticket to go see it. Go see it. Okay. All right, here's a question that needs to be answered. What do Ryan Castle and a dream have in common? Oh, school ties, too. That's a good film. That's not the answer. I know. That's a good movie. <laughs> I'll tell you at 950 <laughs> on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. He's the drunk in charge. Now, the Ryan Castle question of the day. What's your Ryan Castle and a dream have in common? You gotta ask Steve. Steve, what am I doing in your dreams? Mm, hey, lots of stuff. Wow. <laughs> Mainly making me dinner. Wow. Making sandwiches. Yeah. Okay. That's not rubbing good. my back. Wait. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, extra meat. <laughs> they both. Steve is wearing a rubber raincoat in both. That's yeah, he nice. is. <laughs> That's one <laughs> exercise. Both have been known to make Steve wake up crying. Okay. Yeah. And neither of them come in a clean version in Mig's head. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of sex dreams out there. Yes. Got eight, the, the eight most common sex dreams out there. How about the number one common sex dream is with your current partner? Huh? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Of Not course. For Steve. <laughs> notice, notice I sat here quietly. Yeah, you did. But that was almost as indicting. <laughs> yeah, no, you're all guilty. I was shaking my head in agreement. Number two, though, is an X. That's the thing. Uh, oh. Nightmare, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Random friend is number three is the most common sex dream. And then a co-worker comes in at number four, Steve and Ryan. Uh-oh. Right. Yeah. Number four in your dreams, number one in your heart. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I want to thank Tom and Tommy for sitting and watching the show. Ryan Castle, he's up next. And he's in your heart and your dreams and nightmares. 12-pack. BJ and Miggs play of the day. Here's a question because I'm looking at the survey that BJ has. It says 16% would rather sit through an intense sex scene in a movie with their parents as opposed to doing the finances. Ugh. Yeah, I would. Mom? Whoa, really? You'd rather watch your parents get it on? No, no. No. It's- <laughs> Watching Game of Thrones or a movie, and you're banging on screen. My parents are sitting next to me. BJ, you got to help her with the money. She'll be homeless in two days. You're absolutely right. Now you know my predicament. I'm not the brightest. BJ and Migs, 
Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How much does bankruptcy cost? Well, bankruptcy costs, of course, vary depending on what type of uh, case you're filing. There's a certain amount of, of, of court costs and other out-of-pocket costs that you're going to have in any case. Uh, the, the filing fees in a bankruptcy case are, are about $300, whether you file Chapter 7 or Chapter 13. Uh, one of the things to watch out for when you're shopping for bankruptcy attorneys or, or looking at the different cost options is that a lot of times, especially the really cheap uh, places, don't tell you up front about all the court costs and whatnot that you're going to have to pay in addition to the attorney fees. So make sure that you get the full picture when you're talking, when you're comparing prices of bankruptcy lawyers on what the attorney fees are, how much your court costs are going to be so that you can really make a true comparison. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com.